Hi everyone, I'm Jake and today I'll be reviewing some assets and materials you can download and use with Clip Studio Paint. What I'll be showing is only a fraction of the thousands of assets available to download from the Clip Studio Asset Store. Some are paid, most are free, so join me today as I review four of them to create something fun. All of these shown are from Clip Studio's recommended assets page. For more video reviews and tutorials, check out the links in the description. First on our list is the Free Horse Oil Remake Brushes. It's a very soft, textured, pencil-like brush that can be used for sketching, line art, and coloring. For this example, I tried it out for all three. For both the sketching and the line art, due to its low density, it's great for line weight control. I was able to get very soft, controlled strokes and have a nice variance in not only the line weight, but density too, letting you control the softness of some details and the boldness of others. I could control its weight and density with pen pressure alone, but if I wanted to dedicate 100% to a line, it would just take a few strokes to achieve it. This brush is great with line art alone, but with some adjustments, it's a great tool for color as well. Because of the soft brush texture, the colors come out very painterly, though it can be hard to create sharp edges if that's what you're used to. It's also best to block out the colors you want underlying your piece before you dedicate time to color, so as to avoid any accidental transparencies because of this brush's lower density. However, the lower density really gets me creative and adds any color blending you're looking for. This brush is excellent for some gentle blending and you can tinker with the settings for the levels you're looking for. In my example, I only lowered the density setting from 85 to about 40, and it made coloring feel even more painterly. Next up is the Freehand Style Brush Set. This free brush set is specifically tailored to make straight lines appear hand-drawn, which can really bring the art to life. This set comes with seven brushes, all with slight variances. Some have natural breaks in the strokes, some have uneven weight distribution, some are shaky, but overall the options are pretty great. It's not really recommended to draw with this free-handed, despite the name, since it's naturally unwieldy, but when paired with a reference and some rulers, it's a fantastic alternative to the monotony of computer-generated straight lines. This is especially true when pulling lines and tone from 3D models, which I did for this example. This set is perfect to use for replacing lines when converting 3D images to lines and tone, finalizing the lines into a vector layer, and then adjusting the layer's brush settings and replacing the default with any of the freehand style brushes. With some final size adjustment, you can get some really cool results, and it can be as messy or as clean as you want. As an artist whose backgrounds can look a little too clean and too clinical, this helps add that level of authenticity and traditional back into my art. To accompany the freehand brushes, we have the Free Stripe brush set, which is the Crosshatch Patterns brush's more artsy cousin. It comes with three brushes, stripe blur, large stripes, and triangle shaped stripes. This brush is fantastic for blending your colors and creating a bit of texture to your piece. It makes me think of impressionist art, and paired with the freehand brush set, it gives a fun coloring book feel. What I enjoy most is that its crosshatch pattern not only adds to that painterly texture, but combined with its blending feature, can break up the monotony of color transitions, such as a gradient fade. Overall, this particular set is ideal for coloring background elements, and if you like messy and stylistic impressionistic art, then this is definitely a brush to add to your collection. Finally, we have a free watercolor texture set to really put this art together. This download comes with 36 unique realistic watercolor textures in high resolution. 18 are in color and 18 are in black and white. These can be used to replace a bland white background or to be overlaid atop an existing one to give it more life, as I did here. These are all image sets that can be resized to however best fits your canvas. Paired with the large collection of layer blending options, you can adjust the textures as you see fit to add harmony to your art. I love the range of colors and the overall dreamy effect of this particular asset, and accompanied with the freehand brush and the stripe brush, it really brings the piece together. And here is the final result! What's really wonderful about Clip Studio is that many of its resources are created by users for users, all available from the Clip Studio website and asset store. 
Although I believe ultimately the tools don't make the artist, Clip Studio makes the art process incredibly streamlined and user-friendly for beginners and masters alike. I hope you found this video helpful and I wish you luck on your artistic journey. Thank you for watching and until next time.